You're watching Telecom TV's exclusive coverage of the Etsy NFE number no. 9 meeting in Prague in the Czech Republic. And I'm joined now by Gil Hellman, and Gil is the VP Solutions Readiness at Wind River. Gil, thanks for joining us on Telecom TV. Thank you. Man. Can I start by just asking, you're observing events here at the Etsy NFV 9 meeting. Where are we at with NFV standards development? So um, I'm very excited to say that uh, from what I see, there is a very big progress. Um, to where Etsy, NFE, and the whole NFE movement is. And uh, things start to um, get more realistic. Uh, we start to see more normative uh, uh, you know, phases starting to happen. And start to see a lot of activity, a lot of proof of concepts, uh, adoptions from uh, auto operators that basically run proof of concept. So it's actually taking what was done in phase one and bringing it more into reality. Now, there's a lot of talk about open software and the use of open software, but how realistic is it to develop and build an NFV solution based entirely on, on open source? So, um, if we look at the, the market and we look at the, the challenges, um, one of the key things is to accelerate uh, and get faster to market, faster with uh, the transformation. Um, we believe that the open source is very key enabler to get there and um, using the community to be able to get the uh, major building blocks uh, moving forward. And now as it comes to building a solution, um, when, when, when driver specifically, we are a very big believer in open source. We build our solution based on open source components, but um, at the end of the day, you need also to wrap it with the hardness and uh, stability and there is a, a level of uh, additional stuff that need to be added uh, to get to this level of hardness and stability so you can take it to a commercial product and commercial deployment. So this is, this is a positive step. It's not a case of the involvement of the, the open software community as, as slowing things down and, and, and creating more, more confusion. This is, this is really a, a positive way of, 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 of development for telcos. Yes, and definitely I think there is a, a different cadence or dynamics between a standard that define a very specific uh, architecture, very specific interfaces and then API versus an uh, open source that tend to work more in a community environment and do an interpretation of those standards or those specs and implementation. And this is where the gaps uh, which the commercial vendors comes to fill those gaps, to take those components, fill those gaps to bring a robust solution to market. Okay. What then do you think might be the, the, the largest challenges that a legacy network would, would face in bringing NFV solutions to market? Uh, the largest challenges as we see is the legacy network is um, and the operators are used to a certain reliability levels, uh, which is crucial to operate their business. Um, and as you move to a new concept like uh, NFV, the risks uh, of those things, it's, uh, it's even higher. You have the risk of adopting new paradigm, new technology, as well as how you guarantee the reliability and keep your business uh, going uh, as it was before. Okay. Um how you, um, your responsibility is solutions readiness how how does wind river um operate within the nfe ecosystem and specifically you know what is it that you're focused on so uh, myself i'm focusing on observing and uh, learning about the you know what the transformation should look like and feeding this feedback back into the corporate and uh, to identify what are the solutions that we need to build to allow our customer to solve their customer's problem, which is the operator. And their problem, it's, uh, we all know about uh, the, uh, you know, the profitability and the increase uh, of uh, uh, more services, more data, while the price uh, uh, pressure uh, to go down. So they need to find a more agile way to deploy quickly services to be more competitive in this market. And we build solutions to allow our customer to provide these uh, um, um, solutions for the operator. So this is uh, my responsibility with uh, Etsy NFE to observe those things and make sure that uh, 
getting this feedback back so we build the right product. One of the other emerging areas of, of telecoms at the moment is the Internet of Things, IoT. Um, can NFV enable IoT networks? Absolutely, actually, they're, I think they're tied together uh, because the uh, Internet of Things, it's uh, in a very simplified way, it's taking computing devices, connecting them to the network and feeding up this data uh, across the network to basically to, um, you know, to connect things and to get a, a more efficiency, better services. Um, and uh, as you think about more of those devices connected to the network and uh, producing data, the network capacity need to grow. Uh, mentioning before the pressure about how do you get agile services, how do you get profitability, uh, while the price point is uh, pushing down and the data consumption is going up, and this is basically tied together. So the Internet of Things is actually going to um, accelerate the need for transformation. So we shouldn't be just focusing in terms of IoT on the IoT platforms and the, the, you know, these massive rollouts of, of thousands and thousands of, of devices. We've got to look at the impact on a telecom operator's core network. Yeah, it, uh, what we see, it's, we see it, it's actually an umbrella. It's an end-to-end -end from the low-end device, the sensors that produce the data through the reliable infrastructure that need to support transforming, basically transporting this data into the cloud or to the business application that takes and analyze those data and, and operate with it. Great. Final question for you. Um, as we are the, at the ninth Etsy NFV meeting, there's a whole series of these, these meetings. What are the challenges that still need to be overcome before we've successfully defined and deployed NFV? Um, from what I can observe, the biggest challenge is about a, a clear definition of interoperability uh, of APIs. Um, because NFV, it's, um, um, from how I see it, it's about um, the ability to accelerate the networking transformation. It's to mix and match uh, components uh, together to, uh, and still be able to achieve the same availability level. And um, without having a proper interoperability and a defined API, this will be very difficult. Great. Gil Hillman, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much, Gil.